Hello there, I'm Viktor Gamov, developer advocate with Kong. API gateways are a crucial component of modern microservices architecture. API gateways act as an entry point to distributed system exposing the services to outside consumers and clients. In this video, I will show you how you can expose the services that you deploy in your Kubernetes cluster to outside world using Kong Ingress Controller. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm using microservice that generates some of the random quotes from the popular pop culture references like uh, Chuck Norris, uh, Back to Future, and some others. I will be using Java library called Java Faker to generate those. These services will be deployed in uh, Kubernetes cluster. Different version of the service will be providing different quotes. I will be deploying two versions. One will generate quotes uh, from Back to Future movie, and another one will generate some random facts about Chuck Norris. After that, I will install Kong Getaway and Kong Ingress Controller, and using Ingress resource, I will expose those services to outside world based on the different routes. So different service will be accessed outside of the Kubernetes based on some predefined URL. So let's get to it. So I do have a few deployment manifests. One is back to future manifest that includes two things. So first of all, it includes a, a deployment of my application. This application is built as a Docker image and available through Docker register. Uh, you don't have to build this image yourself. Source code and uh, instructions you can find in the description below. The first service will be providing the uh, back to future quote. So in this case, I'm specifying environment variable called quote service and set this into back to future. Also, I do have a service that my application will be available inside Kubernetes cluster. So in this case, I'm using service and I call the service reactive quote service. Let's take a look to another manifest. For example, it is using same application, but it used different configuration. In this case, it uses quote service and value will be Chuck. So in this case, this application will be providing Chuck Norris quotes. And also this application exposed through Chuck quote service. So let's deploy those to my Kubernetes cluster. I have my small Kubernetes cluster that deployed in the Google Cloud Platform. You can do the same things uh, if you deploy Kubernetes cluster uh, locally using Minikube or some other tools, but I found the uh, Google Cloud Platform easier to set up uh, Ingress because the Google Cloud Platform provides external AP for this Kubernetes cluster that we're gonna be using in this video. As you can see, it's very small cluster, just only two nodes, but it would be more than enough for our application. So let me deploy first service and uh, deployment. This service is will be up and running in a few seconds. And I can test this uh, service if it's uh, available through REST endpoint. So I will creating a um, port forwarding from Kubernetes cluster to my local computer. And after that, I will be using Insomnia to test this uh, local host. And as we can see, this message more look like as a quote from Back to Future. So when I click more, more, I'll be getting new quotes. So far, so good. So let me remove the port forwarding from this so we can continue with another service. So let me deploy Chuck Norris service now. And now I have a Chuck Norris, I can do port forwarding as well, so we can test this service actually works. So yes, it's definitely a quote about Chuck Norris. Now I will also stop port forwarding. So we know that our applications are working. The next thing is that we need to install a Kong proxy in order to um, start using the ingress controller provided by Kong. So to do that, I need to do, there's a short link for installation, K4KS, and we will deploy Kong and uh, all these uh, resources that are required for Kong to, to get running. So if I will show you here, 
all the ports that I have on different namespaces. In my Kong namespace, I finally get this uh, Kong Ingress controller. So it will be ready for me to deploy Ingress. Ingress here, it is standard resource that is available in Kubernetes and uh, this is the standard resource, nothing to do with Kong. And Kong Ingress controller happened to be uh, listening some of the events that will be happening to this Ingress. And uh, because I'm specifying this, Kong will be listening this uh, this Ingress. Next thing that I'm configuring the external access for two services. First service will be correspond to the service that uh, runs uh, back to future quotes. And another one is Chuck Norris service. So if I go here, just do, So ingress will be created. Now, how I can get access to external system? For that, I need to get address of the load balancer that uh, will was created uh, in Kubernetes cluster. To do that, I need to do something like this. So I will get the information about uh, Quonk proxy service. There is a, a load balancer ingress API available for me that provides me access to this to this service. So this is the address, external access that my Kubernetes cluster provides. And if I will go to Insomnia, that's already configured against this environment, my proxy IP will correspond to this one. So when I click slash chuck, the same path that we configured in our ingress, I should get response from chuck noise. And now I don't need to use any port forwarding, anything. So my, my service available to outside world through Kong Ingress Controller and through Ingress that was created by Ingress Controller. So let's test Back to Future. Also works. And also we can check the headers so we can be sure that it actually goes through Kong. And we have a headers the, the called VIA that says it's running Kong 2.4. And that is it for today. In this video, you'll learn how you can deploy two services uh, inside Kubernetes cluster and using Quonk Ingress controller, expose the services to outside world. If you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and learn more things about Quonk, Kubernetes, and cloud. My name is Viktor Gamov, and as always, have a nice day.